I hope you're having a good day or night from when you're watching this. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create these money falling effects inside of After Effects. Don't forget to visit my website at dannyjames.co. I have preset and packs that should level up your visuals and save you more time during editing. Without further ado, let's get this started. We can begin adding these money falling effects over this clip over here. Also right above my main clip, I have a roto selection of the subject. It's for a little trick that we'll show you uh, as we progress. Let's just focus on this main clip. Start by creating a new solid. It can be a black solid. And then go to effects and add element. You need to have element 3D for this. And then just go to your scene setup. We'll need a $100 bill OBJ file for this. So just go on Sketchfab. I have this link down below. We have this two-sided $100 bill. So just download it, import the OBJ file. So just double click on it, use auto normals and make sure you've normalized the site so that you can see the dollar note. While having this selection tool, you can hold alt to kind of move around this space. I'd like us to rotate it so that it can be presentable in After Effects. You can manually use this orientation buzz or you can also have this rotation tool over here and then rotate it along this angle. Hit OK. And now we have the same dollar note over here. Go to your group one settings under particle replicator, change it into a sphere. Let's increase the particle count. Somewhere close to 30 will work for this tutorial. If you need more, you can always add them later on. Then once you've done this, find the replicator effects and then find the surface offsets, offset them on this area, increase the value to spread them out. You can also increase this surface offset rotation to randomize how they are spread. Once you have this, I think you already have the basic building blocks and you can also click on scatter and try to adjust these values to scatter them further and much more manually. Uh, next, let's rotate these dollar bills so that they are not static. Find the particle look settings and go to the particle rotation. Keep it along the surface. And now if I try to rotate the Y rotation value for each particle, they'll kind of go like this. I can undo that and do the same for the x-axis. We want these dollar notes to be rotating. I'll add a keyframe for Y rotation. I'll also add for rotation random. Hit you, have those on that side. Then later on, let's increase the value for Y. And then let's increase the same for the rotation random. There aren't any fixed values. It's all about trial and error. Put them to easy ease spread them out and now we have these dollar bills rotating around their axis you can further change the x rotation without adding keyframes in case you don't like how they are aligned so that's what we have now we just need to create a movement which goes from up to down so that you can drop these notes i'll go back to my particle replicator find the position x y click on the stopwatch hit u lift them up using this value put that keyframe to the beginning and then I'll drop them down, I think up to around 1100 for the x-axis and then continue adding that. And then I'll spread these. Definitely easy, easy them. For now they fall like this, but I think I'd want them to rotate a bit much more. Go back to the same keyframes that we added and I'll add a keyframe for x rotation and increase up to around 200, spread those keyframes. I think they are falling naturally. Something else that you could add on these position X, Y keyframes, just highlight on them and go to the time graph. Click on these two areas and stretch it like that. Same for this other side. So we have this graph, which is a bit more lenient. I think this looks good. In case you need each individual dollar bill to rotate more, you know where to go. One more thing that you can do to make it realistic, as these dollar bills fall, they should have a bit of folding. Click on deform, enable the twist, twist the Y very minimally up to something like four. So you can see without the twists, with the twists, I think it sells the idea much better. Since we've changed the value for the twist Y, I think you can add a keyframe for phase Y, hit U so that you can see that keyframe, bring it to the beginning. And I think we can just increase this value a little bit so that as the twisting happens, it changes as the dollar bills fall spread that other keyframe to the end you can go ahead and color match this better to the scene find the triton effect or you can use a cc toner 
the shadows should be the darkest part of your clip highlights should be the brightest parts you can use the pen tool or manually pick whatever you want i'll set the midtones as this yellowish brownish thing i think i'll set the midtones manually i want a brownish yeah something like that and then i will increase the blending with the original i think up to around 70 percent if you don't like the coloring you can also go back to the render settings for element go to lighting additional lighting you can increase the brightness multiplier so i'll increase the brightness multiplier just a little bit up to around 120 percent to make it brighter and then don't forget to finish that with a motion blur make sure you've toggled between switches and moods and enable that and now we have this money falling effect looks really smooth now i'll incorporate the roto brush into this we want to set some of them in the foreground and others in the background so i'll enable my roto brushed layer as it stands you can see the dollar bills fall right behind him so we can have a few of them fall in front of him just to make this more realistic duplicate my black solid and then put it above the roto brush back to your particle count for the replicator reduce this number so that you have fewer of them it can be at around 8 12 and then disable motion blur for those ones and this is what the effect will look like some of them are falling in front and others are falling behind since i'm showing you a money falling effect i think it's only fair that i show you how to do a vortex with the same things that you have i'll delete the black solid on top i'll retain the roto i'll just disable it for now on our black solid we only need to disable the position xy keyframes and have these back to 540 only thing you need to do find your rotation and you can rotate it in the y axis so that you can have that vortex effect so i'll add a keyframe increase that value a turn and it's really that simple you can see we have this vortex effect so we'll do the same thing as we did earlier on i'll re-enable our roto duplicate our black solid put it on top of the roto disable motion blur for this one reduce the particle count uh, this time i'll go with like 12 and with those two combined we have this crazy vortex around the subject if you have a moving shot i think you might need to track these two solids to it so that they can follow the subject as he moves and that's a really easy money falling effect stroke vortex effect i hope you did enjoy this one as much as i did prepping it for you guys if you did make sure to watch this other video over here my name is danny james see you guys on the next tutorial